A trough extends from the top end of the NT to a low in the Pilbara district of WA and extends further south through inland parts of WA and into the Bight. Broad active area of cloud with embedded thunderstorms covers much of northern Australia. Areas of cloud and a few thunderstorms are also present near and to the east the trough through inland WA. A band of cloud also extends onto eastern parts of Queensland from the Gulf of Carpentaria due to a moist onshore flow and an inland trough. A trough across Tasmania is generating areas of low cloud over much of Tasmania, otherwise the rest of the country is mostly clear. Welcome back friends, it's the 20th of February 2023 weather update for Queensland Australia. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel for daily weather and cyclone news. An equatorial trough extends from northwest Queensland into the Northern Territory and is leading to unsettled conditions in the area. A ridge of high pressure along eastern Queensland will strengthen today as a high near New Zealand strengthens. A new high moving east from the Great Australia Bight will reinforce the ridge on Tuesday. A trough over southwest Queensland will result in warm and unsettled conditions into next week, as well as elevated fire dangers. A monsoonal airflow may return to northern Cape York during the latter part of next week, forecast for the rest of Monday for Queensland, scattered showers along the east coast south of Cooktown. Scattered showers and thunderstorms for the peninsula, northern interior, and Gulf Country. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the west, southwest of about Longreach to Roma, with possible severe thunderstorms with damaging winds in the Channel Country. Partly cloudy elsewhere. Winds light to moderate southeast to northeasterly. Maximum temperatures above average in the far southwest, below average in the northwest, near or slightly below average elsewhere.